Welcome everyone. I want to give you a good look around. So let's start. We've converted this room into a maker space. And so this is a space that students who are based in New York can come use this space to uh, to build anything that they would like. I, I mean, at first I didn't like the fact that it had to be online, like arts classes being online. But um, actually, I actually liked the online classes a lot. And so when I do teaching, I switch um, the camera to, so it's basically seeing this and you see me operating or doing the demonstration, you can actually zoom in pretty close. There's like a very big, like, obviously a change. You're seeing the curve in the vertebrae. You're looking through the rib cage. This is my PTZ camera. It can uh, change its position and zoom in. They can watch and follow actually much more closely than when I'm teaching. Things that I can do in here, I've got an iPad mini set up as a camera. I have an iPad Pro set up. I also have a webcam, and that webcam also can turn and rotate towards the real whiteboard. When I come back to here, I can also switch my camera. And there I am. I thought what I could do really fast before we go any further is I could just give you a little tour of my studio. Here I am. I'm going to hold my dry matter, like I show you, finger under, thumb on the top, and like that, I can make longer line in one time, yes? If I want to apply a larger surface, less large than that, yes? Through the online learning, everyone seems closer. They're right there with you. You know, there's no hiding. The sternocleidomastoid. This is known as the superior insertion these are the inferior. The benefit is that you can be in another country at another time. The connectivity, the instantaneity of it, to me, that's teaching. That's lively, you know, adapting this to the fact that we're actually in this together. The students have really kind of risen to the occasion in my experience. It's a, it's a big help to be in those circle groups talking about what, uh, what everybody's doing, what you should be doing or what you should be looking forward to in the future. Because this is definitely a learning curve that we're experiencing. I don't want to miss out on this opportunity. I really wanted to pursue getting my degree. And if I get the professors that I really, really want and I enjoy them, which I have so far, it's worth the comeback. Being at SVA still really gives me a lot of like positive vibes, especially because I get to continue designing and doing what I want to do, like this whole thing hasn't stopped that. It is a good preparation for, for the adult world in the context of this new virtual world that we're going to be living in. You know, this is life. Not everything goes according to plan and you have to learn to adapt. And there just seems to be a great sense of support with the administration at the school. Um, and the students really seem to be working towards making it the best experience possible for each other. I mean, you keep education for the rest of your life. Me learning still and having these discussions with other people, you know, it's something that you're never going to get later in life. Life has to go on and we have to adapt. Life is constantly learning. And if you have an opportunity to continue uh, your education, I wouldn't ever put it off. You guys have a great week. Love you. Get some work done. Bye now. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.